Today we're down at Randwick Environment Park and we're doing a hazard reduction burn in conjunction with Fire and Rescue New South Wales. You can see the site behind me which has been prepared over the last few months. You can see the vegetation's been cut down and that's intentionally done because it allows the vegetation time to dry out prior to the burn so that we get a better result on the day of the burn and it also makes sure we get a more even burn because there's vegetation low down on the ground and that means we get consistent heat across the site. And that's extremely important because part of this burn is to try and stimulate our native plants to regrow. Um, there's a lot of seeds in the soil here so hopefully the heat from the fire will help them germinate. And we're also doing the burn to protect neighbouring residents so you can see houses in the background so this will significantly reduce the threat to those houses from a bushfire. My name is Daniel Ella. I've been now in national parks for over a year now. We are now here in, on Bidjigal country. Um, I grew up not far from here at La Perouse. Um, my, my ancestors and my people come from uh, Yuan country down, down the far south coast. Yeah, today we got the, I had the opportunity, lovely opportunity to start the fire by spinning the sticks. Today we're using multiple ignition strategies over the two different sites. We're lighting one corner, um, as you may see behind us here, to ensure that we don't get any fire escape. And then once, uh, once that's burnt in a little bit, we'll continue our ignition strategy and we'll gradually work our way around the whole burn. We'd expect the duration today to be around four or five hours, and then there'll be some looking after it after hours to make sure that uh, everything is out and as it should be. It'll remove almost all of the flammable ground fuel Moving, uh, moving into summer and that'll reduce the risk to residents along the interface here at Randwick Environment Park.